A French couple's having a run-in with the authorities over their choice of name for their new baby. The concern's perhaps predictable because the proud parents want to call their newborn Jihad. Charlotte Dubensky's been getting a reaction in Paris. If you hear the word Jihad, what's the first thing that comes to mind? Muslim. Terror. Terrorism and bombings. So what about as the name for a child? People get the wrong idea. Maybe they don't intend it with jihad, but I wouldn't call my, my son. I think it's, it's, there is no problem to give any name, you know. I, I don't like it, personally, but yeah. I think, um, yeah, you should be able to call your child whatever you want. Well, that's exactly what one couple in France want to do, to name their child jihad. But so provocative is the choice of the name in a country that suffered a wave of deadly terror attacks the parents have been reported to the French authorities. It's not the first time a child has been called jihad in France. It is a popular Arabic name, but how times have changed. In 2013, a mother thought it would be funny to send her three-year-old child to school wearing a top with the slogan, I am a bomb. And it had the boy's name, Jihad, on the back with his birthday, September the 11th. Now, the school didn't find that stunt funny, and the mother ended up with a suspended jail sentence. But now even the suggestion of calling a child jihad provokes controversy. In the media, in France and particularly in Europe, the word jihad is associated with violence. The word jihad at its root, in its etymology, means the effort of working on oneself, self-control, and work towards a form of moral, spiritual, and ethical completeness. It has nothing to do with the concept of holy war. There is no holy war in Islam. It is a bad translation which unfortunately prevailed in society's representation of this concept. France has strict rules when it comes to policing baby names and looking at what's been added to the banned list over the years, it seems that parents have been courting ever more controversy. In France, which recently voted to replace an almost two-year-long state of emergency by introducing a tough new anti-terror law, daring to be different with names, may come across as twisting the knife in some very open wounds. Charlotte Dubinsky, RT, Paris.